going ahead with the next question. Create a port called web port using Emacs and JMS. Expose it internally to the service called web port SVC. Check that you can look up the service as well as port from within the cluster. So it is expected thus to check service as well as port both. Means there are two ways of checking MS lookup in in uh, containerized form. When uh, any service container service that you create that can also be looked up uh, or MS using MS lookup or a pod that you have created can also be checked using MS lookup. And this all can be done using in our question it is asking us to create another pod using busybox colon 1.28 which is a specific image just because it has MS lookup inside it to cross verify and then uh, output of the MS lookup is to be placed in the respective files for service it is to be placed inside web hyphen svc and for port MS lookup it is to be placed inside web port so let's just go ahead and do it we are going to create the port first web port and then service G run web port and then is nginx. So it should create nginx with port 80 inside the container. Now we will create a service which will be mapped to web port and port 80. G expose the domain is web port and then service name is web port svc and here I need to specify port port is going to be 80 so port 80 inside the container which is by default given to NGINX will be mapped to cluster IP which we are creating right now on port 80 so let's check the status of both port as well as the port as a right. So as we can see it is running and there is an IP assigned to it which we will check when we are doing a port in a slip Now let's check the service to describe as we see port as you can see the port for endpoint is my web port means container IP and then port inside the container at the same time there is a cluster IP created and a target as well as a port that we have specified so now we will create an S MS lookup port and MS check and naming it MS check and image will be easy box 1.38 to keep it running and placing a command inside it command sleep equal to 4800 so it is also created we get forms hyphen Old why to check whether it is running or not so it is running let's let's run the first query that is my service ns lookup g exec hyphen ip we are going to run it from ns check port so ns check hyphen this is the code name of uh, from where we are running this query and ns lookup is my command to the service that we have created, web port cc. So it should resolve and get me the result against a fully qualified domain name for web port SVC. As you can see, I'm able to resolve the service web port SVC and address of that cluster IP for that particular service and then fully qualified domain name of that service. Here you can see the name of the cluster is cluster.local whereas this is something that stays so common for all the services and this is namespace default and then the name of the service. So this is how 
fully qualified domain name becomes. So we will just place this output inside when SVC file as per the ask. So we have created web hyphen SVC. Now we will run the second query that is let's just say g exec and then hyphen rt and for my ns check hyphen ns lookup and then ns lookup and then we are going to specify the port specific information so you need to remember this this is how it is done 172.17.0.3 this is the IP of my code and I'm going to specify D4 this is the uh, namespace and then I'm going to specify code so let's see what results so as you can see it is resolving the complete fully qualified domain name in a different manner so this is another way how you look up inside the port other than services you can also look do ns lookup inside the port using this method then let's just save it inside one of the files so this is it i hope uh, you got you got the idea that what why this question is a little bit more rated compared to a normal question Thank you for watching, see you guys.